In this video, we're going to look at the playback and edit cursors and scrolling options in Pro Tools. The Pro Tools edit window has two different kinds of cursors, a playback cursor and an edit cursor. The two cursors are linked by default, but they can be unlinked if necessary. In this course, we'll be working with the cursors linked exclusively. To verify that the playback and edit cursors are linked, go to the options menu and check that link, timeline, and edit selection is enabled. This is also indicated by the Link Timeline and Edit Selection Indicator in the Edit Window toolbar. The Playback cursor is a solid non-blinking line that you can see moving across the screen during playback. This reflects the current location of the transport, as indicated by the main and sub counters in both the Edit Window and the Transport window. The Edit cursor is a flashing line that appears when you click on a track with the Selector tool. If you make a selection, the edit cursor becomes a dark gray highlight that is superimposed over any data on the selected track. There are two ways that you can set the playback point in the session. One is by clicking directly into a track with the selector tool. The other way is to use any tool to click in the timeline display area in the edit window. If for some reason you can't locate the playback cursor, it may be off the edge of the screen. In Pro Tools, this is indicated by a playback cursor locator that will appear on the left side of the main time base ruler if the cursor is located before the visible area, or on the right side of the main time base ruler if the cursor is located after the visible area. You can click the playback cursor locator to automatically jump to the cursor's current location. The playback cursor locator is typically blue, but it turns red whenever any track is record enabled. You can choose the Edit Window Scrolling option by going to the Options menu, Edit Window Scrolling, and then choosing one of the available settings. No scrolling means that Pro Tools does not scroll the edit window during playback or recording, and will not automatically follow the cursor if it goes off the edge of the screen. After Playback means that Pro Tools will not scroll during playback, but will jump to the final cursor position when playback or recording is stopped. Page scroll means that the entire contents of the edit window are scrolled, one screen at a time, anytime the playback cursor goes off the right edge of the screen. 